So this is Christmas. To Happy Christmas by John Lennon. Now I like to think of this song as a song in three parts, okay? You've got the first section which I'm going to call section A, the second section which I'm going to call section D, and the third section which I'm going to call section G, okay? And if we look at each of the three sections in turn, first of all section A. Now if you look at the sheet music you will see that there is a little thing he does based around the A chord. It's basically A, then if you take your little finger off, A add nine, and then A sus, which is where you add your little finger back on, but on fret three instead of fret two, on the same string that it was on before. So, and then it goes back to A. So A, A add nine, which is without little finger, A sus, with little finger and then back to A, okay? And that kind of pattern is the, the basis of the song, okay? First chord, something different, something different, and then the first chord again. So after the A, he goes to B minor, and then the same kind of thing, this finger off, B minor add nine, and then B minor sus, which is where you add that finger back on, and you release the bar, but keep the B bass on. So from the side, can you see? I've only got the B note on B, is the second fret on the second string down. That note there, okay, so it goes B minor, then this finger off, and then put it back on and go 
there's your sus, and then back to the B minor. So, so far, A, finger off, sus, and back to A, then B minor, finger off, sus, and then back to B minor, okay? After that, we go to E sus, it starts on the sus this time, and E sus is very similar to A. So those three fingers, upper string each. So it goes E sus, and then E. So you could have this finger on as you go to the E sus, ready. So E sus, E, and then E sus, E, and then back to the A one again, the first one. A, finger off, fret three, A. Okay, so I know I kind of rushed through those, but you can watch this as many times as you need to to get the hang of it. Now, you'll notice on the sheet, I've highlighted the E sus, or well, a couple of the E suses in red. And that's because you can play this beautiful E add nine chord instead. So instead of going, Again. You can have this. It's that kind of thing that you're adding when you do this. So just listen to it in context. E sus, E, E add nine, back to E. One more time. Like I say, it's optional. It depends how easy you find to stretch over four frets right down at the bottom of the guitar. But it is a pretty chord, isn't it? Okay, so that's the A section. The D section is fairly straightforward. D, middle finger off for D add nine. And the D sus is little finger in fret three. Finger off, fret three. And then it goes back to D. One more time, after six, four, five, six. Finger off, fret three, finger back on. And then onto the E minor, E major minor thing. This is my favorite bit of a song. You've got E minor, but you use the middle two fingers, not finger one and two. Middle two fingers. And then you play the E major minor chord. Now, E major minor is a little bit like E. If you go to E, yeah, and take finger one upper string and now you've got two fingers on that string so take this finger off sounds horrible out of context but in the context of the song sounds gorgeous okay so E minor E major minor and then E minor nine okay so this is probably the second hardest transition after the A to B minor. So you're going E minor, major minor, then take your fingers off and put finger one on the second string down and little finger on the third string down in fret four. So that's the transition to practice. other little chunks of chords it goes back to the first chord the E minor so starts on E minor through the major minor E minor 9 and then back to E minor so so far in section D we've got D finger off fret 3 and back to D then E minor with the middle fingers major minor take all your fingers off and then finish on E minor next one is A again however instead of going A finger off fret 3 A it starts fret 3 fret 3 then to A then little finger off and then back to A so it sounds like this and then back to the D section so again I know I kind of rushed through those but you can watch this as many times as you need to let's try the D section together slowly about the speed Minor with the middle fingers, major minor, 
stretchy one, back to E minor, A sus, A, little finger off, back to A, back to the D one, so D, finger off, little finger, back to D. And now, the chorus of the song. So if you felt that that was a bit frantic, all of that, which it kind of is when you're playing it at pace, the chorus is a really nice relaxy. Oh, I just played G for a while. G, two, three, four, A. Two, three, four, E minor for two, one, two, G for two, one, two, D for two, E for two, and then you've reached the loop. It starts again with the A. Okay, so let's try it, and, and that's it. The song does that three times, yeah? So that's section A, section D, section G, section A, section D, section G, section A, section D, section G, and then once through the A for the guitar kind of fades out there and it's just singing and uh, a choir and all that kind of thing. Anyhow, let's try it from the beginning, slowly together, and I'll be shouting out the chords, okay? So here we go, about this speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, A. Finger off. Little finger on fret three. Back to A. Be looking at fret four for B minor. Finger off. Finger back on and bar off. Back to B minor. E sus, which looks like A. E. E sus. E. Back to the A section. So A. Finger off. Up in fret three. Back to A. D. Here we go. D. Finger off. Little finger fret three. Back to D. E minor with the middle fingers, major minor, fingers off and stretchy one, back to E minor, A sus, A, finger off, back to A, now D, finger off, fret three little finger, back to D, have a break with a nice G, here we go, G. Enjoy, it's a really, really lovely song. You need to get loads and loads of sleigh bells to do it justice. But yeah, enjoy. Merry Christmas. Aeroplane going over. <laughs> <laughs> 